everyone and welcome to a brand new video tutorial with me Anna Marie. Right, today I want to show you how to create these beautiful flowers using, uh, well, pretty much just the waste. And this waste comes from uh, one of our dies and one of my favorite dies, in fact, Dotty Spiral. So here I have die cut Dotty Spiral. And this is basically what you're getting from this die. You're getting this beautiful pearly chain that can be used for all sorts of flower arrangements, creating your own beautiful reefs. And you could obviously very easily control your reefs so they can be smaller and bigger as you uh, decide. Of course, and this is what we have, this beautiful, delicate detail that looks amazing on our flower arrangements. Right, so let me show you um, basically a couple of samples of the uh, flowers that I will be making. And this is my birthday card with two of the uh, waste flowers. Okay, that's the beautiful uh, white one and then obviously slightly shaded blue flower. And I hope you agree that looks amazing. And here we have, right, uh, this beautiful um, pink flower and of course ionized silver in a pearl paper flower. And of course this one is slightly sprayed and inked up and it looks amazing. This is actual, this is your actual dotty spiral. Let me just show you if you haven't seen it before. Now this beautiful detail, obviously I created using two different shades of dotty spiral, but like I mentioned earlier, it's you uh, who can actually control, obviously the size, the rings of your dotty spiral. So there you go. So these are the couple of samples for you. Here I've got more of the flowers, but obviously what do you need? Now, once you die cut your dotty spiral and you have this, you will end up with the waste. Literally, that is your waste. So please don't throw it away. Remove it literally from your main card. And this is the part that we will be using to create these beautiful flowers. Well, I love the fact that basically I can have something beautiful out of nothing. Right, so what will you need? Um, number one, I'm using the hot glue gun just for speed, but actually uh, I think it would be pretty difficult for you to use just a PVA glue as it takes time to dry. And of course, you can either have just a plain card that you use for die cutting, of course. So we have obviously different shades. I mean, this is my beautiful textured uh, card. And of course, you can see this beautiful green flower. But I have, um, obviously, this is a floral damask flower with a beautiful pattern just to one side. We have a sprayed inked up flower. And of course, again, sprayed inked up here. S uh, I ionized silver again with uh, some white um, splattering effect and of course beautiful pink and two colored flower here so the possibilities are endless it's up to you what you want to create and what detail you want to add but from me today you will actually just get the simple instructions of how to literally uh, start and finish your waste flower Right, so what I have, I have this uh, beautiful dot, uh, Blissful Dots card collection and I will actually ink up a little bit in the center and as I go along. So just to give you that sort of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Detail, okay. Just a random inking and I can always add some color in a moment and you will see obviously when that is suitable now next thing that you will need is just literally your pair of tweezers and we are good to go right so with your tweezers what you need to do you start from the actual center of your dotty spiral and you curving okay 
following the actual um, uh, curve of the uh, waist. So basically I'm giving myself a nice sort of generous center. At this point here, I will just secure it with the uh, drop of glue. You do want to apply this glue just right at the beginning because this is um, the control that you have before your flower may start um, unfolding. But it's up to you. The hot glue gun doesn't take long to obviously dry. So obviously it's fairly quick flour to make and you are good to go. Now you could obviously um, give yourself a wider a center if you wanted to, but actually I'm gonna start the next part now. So the next part is very easy. I'm just literally placing my index finger here at the back and basically folding the rest of my spiral. So I'm just giving myself the uh, fold and I'm following the curve and before too long, I'm going to give myself another curve again, another fold and another one. So you can see you've got about a centimeter, okay, gaps in between each fold. And this is as difficult as it gets. Right, as you're holding on to the glue, now this is actually a good time to ink up a little bit more if you wanted to. And we carry on. So there you go. Another fold. And another fold. Now, some parts of your waist are a little bit more narrow than others. So as long as you keep each layer growing above your first sort of circle, that's all you need. And again, I'm just going to ink up a little bit. And that's it. And here we are towards the end of a flower and obviously I've got three folds, I need to secure them again. And we've got this end of our waist. And of course, when it's aligned beautifully with the rest of your flower, you can just leave it like that. Or you can slightly snip it with a pair of scissors or even fold it backwards. It's entirely up to you, but you do want a nice sort of flow that actually closes your flower. And there you go. So I'm just adding a little bit of color towards the end, waiting for my glue to dry. 
and my flower is done. There you go. Isn't this beautiful? So this is how easy <laughs> um, this flower is. And it's amazing that you could create something as beautiful from your waist. I love it. I hope you love it too. And if you like this video tutorial, please share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.